unto you ministering angels messengers of the most high of the supreme king of kings the holy one blessed be he the next verse may you coming be in peace angels of peace messengers of the most high of the supreme king of kings the holy one blessed be he in the third verse we say bless me with peace angels of peace messengers of the most high of the supreme king of kings the holy one blessed be he May your departure be in peace, angels of peace, messengers of the Most High, of the Supreme King of Kings, the Holy One, blessed be He. You know, the earliest rendition of Shalom Aleichem can be traced back to a Reb Shalom Goldfarb in 1918. It has become a tradition in Jewish homes to recite these words to begin the Friday night, Shabbos meal, Shabbat meal. Each verse is repeated three times with words that are addressed to the angels. Again, a chazaka, making, making something permanent. We have a tradition that as we return home from the synagogue on Friday night, we are accompanied by two angels. One is a good angel, and the other is an evil angel. If the house, when we enter our house, if it's ready for the Shabbat and the candles are lit, 
and the table is set, there, and there is peace in the home. Then the good angel blesses the family. He says that they should experience the same scenario the next week, the next Shabbat. The angel, evil angel, listens to the blessing and is compelled to answer the word Amen, true. However, if the house is not yet in a Shabbat mode, things are in disarray and the house is filled with negativity, well, then the evil angel blesses the residents of the home that on the next Shabbat they should experience exactly the same scenario. And the good angel is then compelled to answer, Amen. Now the wording of the four verses is really very interesting. In the first verse, the angels are referred to as ministering angels, Malachi Asheris. Whereas the next three verses, they are referred to only as Malachi Shalom, angels of peace. So the commentaries ask this question, and they answer, that when we initially enter our home, accompanied with these two angels, these angels are on a higher level spiritually than we are. They are then referred to as ministering angels, Malachi Asharis. However, once we sit down to our Shabbat table and we begin to recite our prayers, well, these angels are no longer on a higher spiritual plane. Now they are only Malachi Shalom, angels of peace. If you look at the wording of the four verses there is another interesting fact. You know, in the first verse we greet the angels with Shalom Aleichem, we greet them. We, so to speak, greet them as they stand out at our front door with the words, again, Shalom Aleichem. Then in the second verse, we welcome them into our home with the words, Boachem L'Shalom, enter in peace. And then in the third verse, we ask them to bless us, Boach, 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 bless me with peace. But then in the last verse, then in the last verse, we bid them, Seischem L'Shalom. We say to them, farewell to the angels. Why do we ask them to leave? After all, they just came. Seems rather rude to ask them to leave even before the meal has been served. So how are we to understand this prayer? You know, they tell a story of Reb, about Rabbi Yisrael of Rishon and Rabbi Mordechai of Chernobyl. The two of them were marrying off their children together, and so they sat down to share a meal. Shortly after the meal began, Rabbi Yisrael pushed his plate away and put down his fork. Well, Rabbi Mordechai looked up at his mechutin and asked, didn't you like the food? Rabbi Yisrael replied, no, 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 the food was fine. He explained to Rabbi Mordechai that before his soul entered his body, he had made a condition with the body that he would only take from this world that which he needed to survive and no more. And so, since he had eaten enough, there was really no necessity for him to eat any more. Well, after hearing what the Rishoner said, Rabbi Mordechai pushed his plate away and put his fork down also. Hmm, seeing his action, well. Wow. Rabbi Yisrael smiled and said, well, you, you made the same condition with your body also? Rabbi Mordechai shook his head. He said, no, no, I didn't do it. He said, I'm just a normal human being. I made no special conditions with my body prior to my birth in this world. He asked the Rishoner, did you ever wonder why it is that we say goodbye to the angels on Friday night before we begin our meal? The Rishoner didn't reply. So Rabbi Mordechai told him, you see, there's no joy in eating your meal with someone who is not eating with you. So, since the angels do not eat, we ask them to leave before we begin our meal. A great lesson for us when we host guests in our homes. Regardless of what your normal eating habits are, always eat together with your, your guests and eat a lot so that they feel comfortable sharing in your hospitality.
you for listening. Hope this helps your Shabbat. Again, you should be blessed with all that's good, happiness, healthy, and safety. Uh, if you haven't done before, please push the subscribe button and the like, and please share with your friends. God bless you. Be well. And again, thank you. Shabbat Shalom. Mm -hmm.